going to demonstrate a technique for uh, rapidly controlling blood loss from the upper limb. So for the sake of argument and example, Hamish has had a, a nasty injury to his hand or the lower part of his arm, losing a lot of blood and I need to control that quickly. So just for training purposes, I'm going to ask Hamish to hold his hand in this position so we can describe exactly where we're going. The two landmarks I'm interested in are the point of the shoulder and the point of the elbow. I'm going to take the midpoint here and then I've got biceps on top and triceps underneath with a gutter running between the two. The brachial artery is in there. So again, point of the shoulder, elbow, midpoint, and I'm going to knead my fingertips into that canal. I can feel the brachial artery pulsing underneath and easily compress it. That's going to control to a large degree any blood loss from that point downwards. When you're doing this technique in training, just to prove to yourself that it's working, you can get a a buddy to take the casualties pulse for you and try the technique and see if the pulse disappears. Hey Mitch, I'm just going to feel your radial pulse. So I've got the radial pulse there. Point of the shoulder, elbow, midpoint in between those two landmarks, folding my fingertips into the gutter where the brachial artery sits. The pulse has disappeared. And now? It's back. So in conclusion, what we've demonstrated there is a simple, quick field technique for controlling blood loss in the upper limb. Of course, the same technique applies equally on each side of the body.